Today we're unburying some of the trees because the eye of the tree was covered by the driveway and we have to clear that out to make sure that it doesn't rot and damage or kill the tree. The eye of the tree is where the tree kind of juts out at the bottom. It's right where the tree is touching the ground. It's really tough to dig in this gravel because there's a ton of big rocks so the shovel can just end up hitting right into them so you have to hit it all with the pickaxe first. It's such a good workout. You feel so good once you get a tree done and we'll be able to use all of this as fill for leveling out some of the trails and making it easier to get down to the cabin. We've just been taking wheelbarrow loads. This will eventually be a nice sloping path to the structure. We are pretty exhausted now, so we are going to finish this tomorrow or the next day and start building a little bit more. There's a line of dogwood trees along the driveway and the one behind me didn't make it. So I'm going to take it out of the soil and then dig a really big hole so we can put in a new tree. The tree is going to be a weeping cherry and it's so beautiful. All of the branches hang down and it'll turn pink in the spring. When you're transplanting the plant from the bucket or pot that it's in into the ground, you have to dig a hole that is twice the width of the bucket containing all of the roots and soil. Not twice as deep though, because then you will be way too far below the surface level. And then we'll put some compost in and give the trees and the plants some water. That was actually so easy. <laughs> okay. We got time on our side When I stayed at home I need you on my fire I want you to know And then once the tree was in, we planted rhododendrons by the entrance. We used stones from the gravel from back when we dug the eyes out of the tree to fill in some space before we would move on to adding compost. We didn't have enough compost for this project yet, so we'll come back to it. And then we patched up a drainage area to ensure it worked smoothly. And then some more digging and some more transplanting, but the cabin comes to life a little bit more with each new plant and they're so beautiful.
And then we built a stone wall where there was a gap in the driveway so that we could fill it in with some rocks and compost and plant a shrub. Too small. Might work. Nice. Really nice. Yeah. Beautiful. <laughs> Kyle, look at this. Perfect. <laughs> Literally like a puzzle piece. Right there. We've been getting so much rainfall here in New England, it's definitely not our typical July weather, but it did help us identify where we need to put drainage and how to slant the driveway so that everything drains the right way. Today at the cabin has been really productive. It feels like we haven't stopped moving all day, which is one of my favorite feelings. And our hands were getting so beat up at this point, so that was a wrap for day two. And then we got right back into it the next day. This marked the beginning of what will mostly be an herb garden and all of the perennials, true to their nature, will come back next year. And after more planting, we got into another project, but first I had to move the scaffolding away from the porch. We wanted to have two stone walls encompassing rhododendrons on either side of the stairs, so they'll grow big over time and bloom bright with white flowers. In order to build a durable wall, you have to level the ground and then create a strong base layer with nice flat stones. Then you stagger the seams. Some of those rocks were so heavy, but when the results last indefinitely, it's well worth the effort. Honestly, Kyle is so good at this. He's fast and accurate and can lift a lot better than I can. And as a side note, we are planning on creating our own compost pile next year, so 
We don't have to use any more of the plastic bags. And this is where the other stone wall will be. It makes this so much cozy. Yep, nice. You got the right edge out. That's nice. So here's an up close and then farther back view of how it came out. We really love it. And then the next day things got pretty hectic, but in a good way. Today was tough, really tough, but really good. And we started out with firing up the wood chipper and grinding up a bunch of trees that had fallen on the property that Kyle put into a brush pile. We've been using those wood chips to coat all of the gardens and over time it will work as compost. Also have been doing some more plantings today. It wasn't super sunny, but worked up a really good sweat. So naturally I had to go cool off in the river, which was extra icy today. There's actually a cool little stream right here feeding into the river that I just realized once I crossed it. It feels so good to step through the squishy earth barefooted and I do not even get grossed out by it anymore. Almost every ride home this week, the sky has been so colorful and vivid, and it's such a nice way to end the day and relax after tons of movement. I just got to the cabin. It's still pretty early, but Kyle and Mason are right behind me. They're going to be up here in just a few minutes. They had to go to the store that we rented the wood chipper from because yesterday a log went into it that it did not like and it broke temporarily it's fixed now but 
uh, we're going to be using the wood chipper again today so that we can keep creating nice layers on top of all of the areas where we've planted new things and just make it look really nice and tidy before we really dive into doing more of the structure work. I love getting up here so early because everything is still a little chilly and there's dew on everything and there's birds chirping and you can really hear them nice and loud right in the morning. It's just really, really refreshing. Today we're cleaning up more of the fallen and dead trees to put in the wood chipper, but you have to get them into smaller, more manageable chunks first. It was pretty much all hands on deck, and while Kyle and Mason worked on chipping more logs, I would go and spread them around a bit and then rake the pine needles away from the driveway. Here's the gist of what it looks like now. This entire week has been so productive and we've sweat our butts off, but it paid off and it was so fun documenting the entire process and I can't wait to keep doing more because we have so much on the to-do list. I mean, we still have to chip away at the cabin exterior and interior. Um, we haven't even gotten that far into that, so I'm really excited to show you all what we get into. a pretty thick coat on my face right now and I'm just going back and applying a little bit more um, this is also one of the messiest face masks I imagine that there is so my whole entire sink underneath me is covered in avocado but 